We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions again. I've got another Amp Dyno video for you. Today it is the Audio Apex Cab 22. I got this on their pre-order. I know there's a few other dynos out there on it, but it's new to our channel and uh, more testing the better. So it came with uh, the Cab 22 amp. We've got a nice Audio Apex sticker there. It came with a base knob, which is just a standard uh, power LED, clip LED, and phone cord jack. Uh, it is nicer than some out there that don't have the, the LEDs, so that's that's good that it has the LEDs. Came with the uh, manual here. It says 2200 watts at 1 ohm, 1500 watts at 2 ohms, and 900 watts at 4 ohms. I've got it hooked up with one watt cable as per manufacturer spec. And we're running on the C-Max bank today. Uh, no active charging. I'm around 15 volts. So I am ready to start our certified tests. And I like to start at 1 ohm, so that's what we'll do. It was rated 2200 watts. starting at 14.9 volts. Two thousand two hundred eighteen watts into one ohm. Dropped to 14.6 volts. So we got our rated number. Try two ohms. And again, I'm not uh, not actively charging. Back to 15 volts on the C-Max. One thousand five hundred forty watts into two ohms. Dropping to 14.7 volts. I am, I'm gonna reset that, it didn't start clean. So we'll check that one one more time. Did it, did it again. One thousand five hundred thirty-nine watts into two ohms. Dropped to 14.7 volts. And a four ohm run. I will pull up efficiencies when I edit the video. Back to 15 volts. Certified is up to 1% distortion. I believe this was rated 900 watts. And we see 926 watts into four ohms. Dropping to 14.9 volts. Very nice. I'll move on to uncertified, which is all the way to distortion. And one ohm. Starting a little lower, 14.97 volts. Gonna restart this one too. Two thousand one hundred ninety seven watts into one ohm, drop to fourteen point five volts, two ohms. These are all done at forty hertz, by the way. Starting 14.9 volts. Again, that one didn't count clean. I really don't know why this is happening. Most amps don't have that issue. 
suppose it could be the head unit. All right, here we go. One thousand five hundred thirty watts into two ohms. Drop to fourteen point seven volts. Do four ohms uncertified. Back up to fifteen volts. Nine hundred twenty-five watts into four ohms. Down to fourteen point eight volts on that one. And next, we'll do dynamic. Dynamic is a burst test. It is supposed to replicate a music run. We'll start at one ohm. Two thousand seven hundred fifty seven watts out the gate. Wow, two thousand nine hundred twenty three watts dropped to fourteen point seven volts. We'll see uh, two ohms. Really good burst numbers out of the sample. 1,723 watts into two ohms. Again, dropping to 14.87. Four ohm burst. Nine hundred sixty three watts into four ohms, dropping to fourteen point eight volts. It's really good. Um, I am going to try point eight dynamic. I'm sure this amp will be fine uh, doing a point eight dynamic, starting at fourteen point nine volts. Well over three thousand watts. Three thousand three hundred ninety watts into point eight ohms, dropped to fourteen point eight volts on the CMAX. So, really impressive. That did rated and uh, on the burst test, it did quite a bit more. So that's what I have uh, for the dyno scores on the Audio Apex Cab Twenty Two. Uh, I believe these are still available for a second pre-order. You guys can check out the Audio Apex page for more info. Uh, if you hang on just a minute, I will get the back plate open and we can get a look inside. Hey guys, we're back. Got the back plate off the amp. This is really a good looking amp. Um, looking in there, it's got a black PCB. Uh, all the bigger caps are wrapped in that red wrap. Really looks to be a well put together amp. It's got the Audio Apex Cab 22 logo there. Uh, I did look through it and uh, they're 105 degree caps. All the solder joints are covered. Uh, it is using 8 gauge, kind of expected 4 gauge, but very, very clean amp. Uh, to show you the power connections. It is, uh, sorry, right there, some uh, large one-aught cable. That, that may fit uh, two-aught welding, I'm not sure. Um, two pairs of speaker outputs, which is nice. And on this side, try to be careful with this. Uh, it does have... Uh, power and a protect LED that's the plug for uh, the base knob it has a pass-through input output 
Uh, it doesn't appear to be uh, strappable. Uh, has a gain, low pass filter from 40 to 180 hertz. Subsonic is 0 to uh, 50 hertz. Bass boost 30 to 80 with uh, 0 to 12 dB bass boost knob. Pretty standard fare there. Um, overall, the, the amp, it's, it's well built, it's slick, it's clean looking. To me, it could have been dressed up a little more on the outside. Um, but hey, for, for what it cost, you really can't complain. Uh, again, it, it's a beautiful amp. You can tell it's well built. Put out rated numbers. Did everything I asked of it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please share. Give me a like. Subscribe. Hit the bell so that you know the next video I post. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.